Hello everyone, and welcome to the Manga Stand. This is a channel where we're going to talk about my first impressions of a series called Fire Punch. This is a manga, Japanese manga I believe, and now we're going to talk about kind of the plot and the beginning of it and why I think it's such a great series. So it starts off with the main character, um, and well, a little background information. This is Ice Queen, she's caused an apocalypse around the world, she's a gifted. Gifted basically means you have certain powers. The Ice Queen just happens to have ice powers, apparently. We don't really know, but that's kind of obvious since uh, she's the one who's blamed for this Ice Age that's going on. So then we kind of go to the main character. And one of the first scenes, spoiler, I really recommend if you guys watch this, it would be just spoilers of my first impressions of the first couple chapters. But what happens is the main character, um, well, the main character's sister axes his arm off. So I was like, whoa, <laughs> like, what's what's going on? And then I'm, uh, it, it regenerates. So I was like, okay, okay what what's he doing here? He's cutting off his arm. He can regenerate. But then you find out he starts feeding his village. So what you find out is that every day he cuts his arm off seven times to feed his village. Seven times he has to go through that a day. And I was like, oh, sweet, this is what I wanted. Making cannibalism be seen as a beneficial thing. And you see that there's some people that don't want us to succumb to cannibalism. Yeah, fine, they die. But the ones who are willing to survive will go the extra mile. And I love series that just take humanity to the next step and try to push kind of like our moralities a bit. Because cannibalism is seen as, whoa, bad, back off. This is like horror. But if a gifted comes along that can instantly, almost instantly regenerate um, dismemberment, then is it so bad? if he's willingly participating in this? Probably not, but um, it doesn't matter anyways because a group of people don't think that way. Um, so without this group of people that comes in, they don't really know the scenario with the main character, how he's feeding this village his arms. They just think this village is a bunch of cannibalisms. So this new group that comes has another gifted that can infinitely burn things forever. So he wipes out the whole village burns everyone alive, he just hates cannibalism, he hates, like, injustice, so he kills everyone, and all that's left is the main character infinitely burning with his sister. Um, his sister dies, and then he alone, he, he he's really thinking about dying, because he can turn off his regeneration. Really thinking about dying, his sister tells him to live, as the mm, he means to just make it through it, and it has a bit of a time skip, plus eight years suffering through this infinite hell and he comes he comes back ready for revenge and that's why it's called fire punch at the end of those eight years he's infinitely burning infinitely regenerating non-stop pain as it keeps on reminding you through the chapters and he's out to kill um actually the enemy of the ice queen this um this fire guy is actually the enemy of the ice queen so that's kind of all where it wraps up we're like you have this ice queen that's surrounded in mystery and then you have this fire guy that's after her, but is also, um, you find out he supports kind of slavery, he supports pillaging, but he's trying to kill the person that caused the apocalypse. So, very interesting series, loved it to death. I, I couldn't recommend it anymore. So, that's just going to be my first impressions, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you very much for, for listening, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, thank you very much, and see you. Thank you.